Josh, what's going on? Hey, Sean, how you doing? Good, good. good. Um, everyone, we're here at the Rail House today, uh, right here on Broad Street in Waverly, New York. We're going to be hanging out with the owner, Josh Cassidy. And um, why don't you introduce everybody to the audience right now? How you doing, everybody? My name is Joshua Cassidy. I'm the owner here at the Rail House. I'm very happy to have you here today, you know, with us. And, you know, I, I kind of thought that I'd show you around and maybe even get your hands dirty a little bit. What do you think, Sean? That sounds awesome. What okay. are we doing today, Peck? Well, yeah, I have some Rangoons getting ready to get prepped up. Have Rangoons. you ever tried a Rangoons? I haven't, no. All right. This is well, perfect. Let's, uh, let's try your hand out at it. <laughs> okay, a little different than houses, but let's, uh, let's go cook. So today we're going to be focusing on our most popular appetizer. Okay. It's our signature appetizer, actually. It's a buffalo chicken Rangoons. Looks like this one finished. Yes, sir. All right. Yum, yum. It's time for a tasty and refreshing snack. A few moments later. And there you have a Rangoon. Rangoon. Look who's pretty. Who's is prettier? <laughs> Probably is. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this once or twice. So um, why don't you tell me real quick um, a little bit of history behind the railhouse and the business and the building? Okay, so the railhouse was originally um, a movie theater called the Amuse You Theater. Amuse You Theater. Amuse okay. You Theater, yep. And uh, it's been the railhouse now for about 10 years. Okay. And we purchased it from Brian L. Burgess about um, two and a half years ago now. Okay. Yeah. And it's an original yeah. movie theater. Did you know this was a movie theater before? I had no idea. So Josh, what uh, made you want to be the owner of the Rail House? Well, honestly, um, I'm a family man and very close to my mother, my sisters, my in-laws even, if you can believe that. <laughs> and, um, you know, I just thought that this would be a good way to bring us all together. Life is too short to spend so much time away from each other working. So That's true. And I'm, it's cool that you brought uh, the family into it, too. Like you're, mm -hmm. you're spending more time with them. So that's cool. What's the weirdest request that you've made in the kitchen? Like the weirdest order? So we have a, a feature menu that changes every three months. And I would have to say uh, what stands out the most is our um, Rocky Mountain Oysters. <laughs> Wait a minute, Rocky Mountain Oysters, what, what is that? Okay, so our Rocky Mountain Oysters are, how do you say this appropriately? Um, <laughs> uh oh, bull testicles. <laughs> <laughs> so Rocky Mountain Oysters, are, they're bull testicles? Yes, sir. <laughs> That is a pretty weird request. That that's never heard that before. That is interesting. I've heard of like frog legs and mm -hmm. uh, what's another weird one that you've heard? Cow tongue. There, there's Cow some, tongue. Uh, pig toes. There's some weird stuff out there. That's yep. got to be the winner of one of the weirdest I've ever. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That was really quick. There you are, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. You're these, welcome. These look really yeah. good. I'm actually going to try one of these really quick. All right. Hold on. What's like proper tipping etiquette? I mean, that was really good service, I feel. It was quick and it was to the table. I would say for exceptional service, 20%. Most people tip between 15 and 20% normally. Okay. What do you, I'm curious, what does everybody else tip? I'm usually 15, 20%. What do you tip? So, Josh, what are you doing different here? Well, Sean, have you ever heard of our Freight Train Burger Challenge? No, what is that? So our Freight Train Burger Challenge is a five-pound burger. 
five pounds? It is. We actually have a wall of fame and a wall of shame uh, for people <laughs> that have tried and failed and the people that have tried and succeeded. Which one's bigger? <laughs> Definitely the people who have failed. We only have, a, at this point, a half, half a, a handful, maybe, wow. of uh, people that have actually tried it and we, succeeded. We gotta get more people in here to be on the wall of fame. I gotta see that pictures. I'm like waiting. <laughs> uh, they're few and far between. <laughs> so what type of events do you do here? So we have uh, Trivia Tuesdays. Um, we have open mic night every Wednesday. We also have live bands on the weekends. Not every weekend, but uh, okay. quite often. A lot of banquets. You know, we do banquets quite frequently. Catering service, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, we cater weddings, we do birthday parties, a lot of off-site and on-site okay. events. Yeah, cool. This is going to be kind of a different question, but what's one tip that you would tell to maybe a young entrepreneur in the area that is looking to maybe open up their own restaurant in the area? Well, the, the restaurant business is tough, honestly. Um, it's got a lot of ups and downs to it. Right. Hey, the um, real estate market just like that. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> So if I were to give one piece of advice, it would be to focus more on the customer. Okay. Um, customer service, quality of food. Um, don't focus so much on profits. If you get those first two things right, the profits will come. Everything else will follow that. I love yes, that sir. explanation. That's, that's great advice, great advice. You know, we'd love to see new faces in this place. We, we take good care of our people here and um, if you haven't been down here before, our address is 366 Broad Street in Waverly. We also have a Facebook page that has our menu on it, uh, our, our list of taps. We have 30 beers on tap, and um, our catering menu is also on there. So we hope to see you. All right, guys, just finishing up with this episode of Community Connect. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Duty calls. On to the next appointment. We're out of here.